Aspen OneLiner has long offered simulation capabilities that can show the performance of protective relays in response to fault events. For example, if we apply a three-phase bolted fault on one end of the slime, we can see Zone 1 at the local end operate, as well as Zone 2 on the remote end. Simulation capabilities such as these can assist in many applications from simply confirming relay settings operation to conducting complex system-wide coordination studies such as those required in the upcoming NERC PRC-027 standard. However, to use this capability, protection representation must be modeled in Aspen, as seen here. This modeling effort has historically been a challenge to implement on a system-wide scale due to number of relays involved, as well as the need to keep the representation up to date. Aspen One Liner does come with built-in tools to assist in the modeling of these relays as we see in the import relay data function. However, the user would still need to obtain the correct settings file for each device, which are typically extracted from the relay settings repository. They would also need to know what elements are tripping for each relay in order to represent protection accurately. After all, a Zone 3 reverse element used for DCB blocking should not trip, unlike the case we see here. Improper modeling of relay functions can have rather unfortunate effects on protection performance studies. The new API included with the release of Aspen OneLiner version 15 provides a significant opportunity to improve the efficiency and accessibility of this modeling effort. For this application, which we called Automated Data Import, the API is employed in a process that connects to both the Relay Settings Repository and Aspen OneLiner. This largely automated application obtains settings files directly from the Relay Repository interprets the settings content within the files, and creates simulation-ready protection models in OneLiner. This integration and automation of the modeling effort makes feasible the creation of protection representation on a system-wide scale and to easily keep it up to date. In the window on the left-hand side, we have the same Aspen OneLiner model we saw previously, but with no protection on the Arizona-Nevada line. In the Relay Settings repository on the right-hand side, we see the settings record for this particular line for both Arizona and Nevada substations. In this demonstration, we will be using the automated data import application to take the settings from this repository and create the representation in one liner in one seamless integrated process. We will be able to immediately apply fault events to see the relay response. Within the automated data import application, we can first select the Aspen OneLiner file to connect to. Then at the next screen, we can select the line we would like to model from a list of all lines found in this OneLiner file. Here we are selecting the Arizona-Nevada line. At the next screen, we can see all the relays that were found in the repository associated with this selected line. At the Nevada substation, we see two microprocessor relays, the Schweitzer 321 and GED60, which have both been assigned a package according to identifiers in the repository. Since there may be multiple revisions for each setting, there's some logic to select the preferred setting, but the user may select any other revision from the drop-down menu. For the Arizona substation, we see a microprocessor device on package A and a few electromechanical relays making up package B. The file extraction and locational matching occur automatically within the program. Built-in logic is able to interpret the settings, including identifying which elements are enabled or tripping, as well as directionality. Although microprocessor devices are generally set fairly similarly between use cases, some additional consideration may be needed to accommodate custom logic. At the summary screen, we see a visual representation of what will be pushed to OneLiner through the newly released API. We see the two ends of the line as well as all of the devices that will be created in the relay group at each term terminal. Naming conventions are predefined for this demonstration, but just like the protection logic can be customized according to need and preference. Clicking execute will perform the data push through the API and create the protection representation in one liner. I think one thing we can all agree on is that one liner is very fast. 
So before I can finish the sentence, the data push is complete. At this point, the application's work is done and we can return to our OneLiner model to see the protection it created. Back in OneLiner, we can now see that relay groups and protection exist at both ends of the line. Opening a relay group, we can see the devices created to represent both packages of relays at the terminal. We can see the impedance diagram here, showing the phase distance zones set as expected with zone one, zo zone two, and the reverse zone three. If we open the device, we can see that the settings have been imported from the relay file. The signal only zone field is filled in, correctly reflecting that zone three reverse is for DCB blocking and does not trip. Down in the tag field, an indication of package is assigned, allowing for independent outaging of one relay during automated studies in one liner. Finally, the protection models created through the API are simulation ready. So we can apply the same faults as before and see how the relays respond. If we apply the same three phase close in fault on the Arizona side as before, we see Z1 operate from the Arizona and zone two operate from the Nevada side as expected. If we apply a bus fault at Nevada, we see zone two from Arizona operate as expected. This time though, we see that the Z3 at Nevada correctly does not operate due to the assigning the Z3 reverse as signal only. As we've seen in this demonstration, the API released with Aspen OneLiner version 15 brings new possibilities for the integration with external data source and applications and can help users better take advantage of the powerful capabilities offered by Aspen OneLiner.